Oh, he's so big. Happy 25th anniversary. <laughs> of nothing. <laughs> well, well, there's probably something out there yeah, celebrating their 25th. There's probably something out there. Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Fitzpatrick Geraldson are celebrating their 25th mm -hmm. today. Congrats to them. Uh, a lovely couple. Okay, you're trying too hard. I, I'm, try I'm you're trying too hard. I'm in pro. You know what game I miss playing called? Um, uh, Sneak King? South Park Stick. Uh, South Park Fractured, Fractured Butthole. Butthole. Yes. Wow, he's really putting up the blocks. There we go. South Park Fractured Butthole. I honestly I always miss, miss it now and then too. Game. I miss, uh, I do miss some games we've done. I, yeah. I actually miss a good amount. Um, one of them that I really miss, um, was actually... Shit, that's right, I can't grab. What was I thinking? Well, I can use Y for that. Um... I do miss, like, Stick of Truth wasn't very fun. I, I love that. fucking Stick of Truth. That playthrough was really fun. Bully, Stick of Truth, and pretty much... Yeah, Bully and Stick of Truth are probably my favorite games. SpongeBob Battle of Bikini Bottom. Those three. I will say, Those three it is games a shame. of all time. It is a shame we never got to actually play it, though. I have it. Well, I mean, like, on the channel-wise. Oh, well, we... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we never got you to were, play. Well, we still can. I almost fucking said it. You almost fucking dug yourself another yep. hole. Nope. Like, ah, shit, now what are we going to do? That would be like a, when you and me are 40 and we are just bored. We're sitting in our rocking chairs. need to get chairs. away from our wives. We're just old men in rocking chairs. Like, ah! Wives or kids you, uh, or pets. At the age of 40, we're in rocking chairs. Mm -hmm. uh, do you remember? Well, I hope not to be in a fucking rocking chair on 40. I do. It seems like it would be comfortable. I hope to be in a rocking chair in like... Yeah? yeah I like rocking Old blue chair? Old blue chair? Damn. Fuck. Right? Shit. Speaking Shit. of beer, I suppose Shit. the closest freaking liquor store for you boys is freaking Lakeside. I don't Lake know, because I don't drink. No, well, I don't. yeah, I do know where the liquor store is. I, I do know my town well enough, I know where the liquor store is found. Yes. There's not one. Uh, some of the uh, bars can sell outright. But Off Lakeside, sale? Lakeside is the closest. So, yeah. what, what, uh, what good memories do you have from some of the old games, Sean? Oh, the old games of playing? Yeah, what do you remember well? Some of the, the oh. completed ones we've done, the complete done ones. I remember how pissed I was at Bendy always showing up in a fucking room. You did really well in Bendy, I thought. With Bendy and the Ink Machine. I did. And I liked Boris, but I hated the puzzles. You know me. Puzzles puzzle, on a screen, I can't do puzzles. The puzzles were not as bad as some of them. As some of the games you've played, yeah. it was not as bad. There are some you've played that really... And I, yeah. It's... I would say Bendy was pretty good with it. South Park, honestly, for the adventure part, and knowing that me being a South Park freak, I mean, game. That's how it usually was. Yeah. So... You'll hear some noise because Frank sees food, so just bear with us here on that. Um, yeah, it, it, Bully. Bully. What about Bully? Replaying it, dude. Bustle. Fucking all the shit that I went through. Oh, I. there were good memories oh, there. Oh, I loved that game. I would redo it. Oh, I've already done it eight times. Exactly. You, eight you times play that in game, six years. You play that game religiously. I bought that I'm game. I'm sorry, but you play it more than anyone I've ever seen play I bought like, that game a, a GTA my sophomore game. year of college, which would have put me at 20. Like, don't so get me I wrong. I bought it when I was 20, I'm 28, so in eight years I've fucking played it and beat it eight times. I think, Once uh, on this channel, uh, twice in the last fucking three years, and then like four times. Now, I'm not trying to I'm not trying five. to pull in the, the D word. Divorce, but oh, when uh, when that happened, off. I remember that uh, that was one of the things you said. That was the I gotta make mechanism. sure. Well, I remember you said that's one of the things I gotta make sure I take in, oh, out of all fuck this. Yeah, in the divorce. Yeah, yeah. You, you're like I'm taking oh, yeah. I'm taking my no. copy of Bully. I'm I no. I remember that you were like I am taking Bully. But ever the things I was taking for sure with that because I'll be a man and say it was all the furniture that my old man made. And all of my video game shit. Everything else didn't fucking... And the cats. Everything else didn't matter. The fucking nice car. The ring. The fucking food. And, uh... Yeah, yeah you're gonna raid stuff. the... Well, you're no, gonna raid the, the fridge last the, minute. The kitchen appliance. 
The kitchen utensils. Just and appliances. to spite your ex. I'm you taking the food out of the fridge. Taking the fucking food. Go I'm taking the all the food Honestly, out of the fridge. I can see your ass doing that. <laughs> Honestly, I would think about it if I had a freaking twelve pack of spam at my ex girlfriend's house. You would. You would go back for the spam. Hundred fucking percent. You dude. would return. You have to have your priorities straight. And spam is your priority. Spam is one of God's greatest gifts that'll probably kill me when I'm in my fifties. So <laughs> that's yeah. that's the takeaway. Uh, right <laughs> To a burning building, you know what? The the cherished memories, Mustache. you know the uh, the sentimental things, yes. all of that can go. Yep. Where's the fridge with my spam? It can't yes. melt away. Yes, the spam needs to live. Ow, fuck! That hurt, Goro. You punched me in the fucking face with that. Boom! Just like it's an actual fight. Like ah, you dick! Mm. Ow! Ow! Mm, fuck you! Damn. Ow! Got him. Good job. Hey, not to be a dick, just the making spam. sure you set an alarm, right? Well, no, because him and then Shao Kahn, they ain't gonna take us that long. Okay. You sound like you just don't trust me. Like, okay. I trust everyone. You sound like a parent that a kid just told him a horrible idea. Okay, if you think that's a good... Okay. <laughs> well, if you really think that's what you want to do with your life, I mean, I'm not gonna judge you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I, the kid said. Mm, yeah, you're right, Dad. Fuck you. Yeah. I know what I'm See, doing. I wish my parents were like... I'm gonna go to art school, and I'm gonna like it. See, my parents were good parents, but they weren't around as much when I was a kid as I would like for the sole fact my dad was a hunter. And gatherer. A hunter, a curler, and a golfer. You know, so I'm a curler, I rarely right? saw him, unless he didn't have any of those activities, I rarely saw him before 7.30 at night. My mom liked boozing. And like you. Cards. Yeah. Well, and do, you, do cards. you play cards? Oh, yeah. Do you play with your mom? Sometimes, yeah. Nice. But cards, boozing, and being out and about. See, my mom and dad are two different people. I ended it in a good way. I got most of my way. dad's fucking shit. Good. I got most of my dad's shit. My dad's a homebody. Except Me too. for work. Me too. He would rather be at home every day of the week. My I would, mom I would love spending my time out. at home. My mom would rather be out at the bar around random people in public having a fun so time. So, I've done that, and it's not that I don't enjoy it. I it's don't just, enjoy being so out and about unless I'm completely I went drunk already. Story time. You're Here right comes Shao Kahn. Yep. Yeah, story time. Go ahead. Ow. Focus, Ow. So, I um, I go out. Yep. Not, not often. Yep. Very rarely do I go out. Yep. But I went out, and people recognized me from my job, mm. and people, you know... I try not to be in the public eye after work. Yeah. Because it's not that I don't want to see people. I just, I'm tired. I want to go home. Yeah. So, you know, I'll, if I see people, I, um, I tend to stay away. I tend to keep my mouth shut. Because I don't want to be the center of attention. So, I just never have that. Like, I just don't want to be. Little, little personal story. I'm not trying to make it sound sappy or anything, but no. when, um, you know, shit happened, what was it now? Like, years ago, when I first... You know, the channel was just mine and mine alone at one point. Yeah. Um, I was scared shitless because I knew that I have to be the one to make the entertainment by myself Was now. that before I came in or after I freaking left The town? first time you left town. Yeah. Yeah, I was scared shitless. Like, straight up. I was worried because I'm like, I have to do all this by myself. What if What if people don't like what I say? What if yeah. it, It's just me. I'm not bouncing things off of anybody. Yeah. So I, I would sit there when I first started with, like, a camera. And I was like, I'm so fucking terrified. Because it's just me. See, I hate I hated doing the videos of the video camera and the freaking vlogs and the updates and shit, just for the sole fucking fact that I didn't know whether to look into the camera lens or into the fucking light for the mirror. Because you can tell. Uh, oh, you holy tell. shit! You okay? Yeah, I'm good. I thought you, you died. Can, you can tell when you're looking holy straight shit. into the camera, Ow. and when you're off a little bit. Something else, mm -hmm. you know. It also didn't help that I was fucking forty pounds bigger than I am now, and we had to share that fucking two and a half person fucking couch. You know, with, I love how you think like because you were well, you were bigger. You're like, fat? oh jeez. Yeah. No, I was. I was. But um, I'll I'll finish the story yeah, quick. Ahead. So yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. like center of attention. I don't like being it. You know, mm -hmm. when I first started, didn't like it. I got used to that. But yep. after a certain amount of time at work, you know, yep. I 
you know, I, I'm flipping the switch on for like, oh, hey, cheery in front of the public, great times. And I am. I really am having a good time and everything. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, I don't... I don't like to turn that switch back on after it's been turned off once during the day. Yeah. So when I'm done with work, I'm like, okay, I'm not in front of the public anymore. I can just go and like chill. I can just relax. Mm -hmm. I can go home. Yeah. Um, sometimes I, I'll go out or I'll go to the gas station, something like that. Yeah. And this person, this happened like a little while ago, comes up to me like, hey, you helped me out today. Mm. You did a good job. Looks like you really like what you're doing. You, you handled it well. I want to say thank you for everything. And I'm just like, yeah. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. yeah I'll totally. take that. I'm me. happy I could help. Fuck okay, bye. Fuck Holy me. shit, he got me good on that one. Yeah. But that's, I'm just yeah. like, yeah. Fuck do you know? Do you know so-and-so so that works there? Oh, yeah. She was just out there. She's doing good. Yeah. I just, I just, it's not my thing to be like, when I'm done being public me, yeah. I like to be private me. I'm yeah. an introvert and an extrovert. I'm both. I like oh, I'm not. I'm an extrovert. An extrovert. God it, damn you, yeah. Jerry. Fuck. I'll, I'll, I'm dealing with him. Yeah. I'm dealing with the guy. I'm not an introvert at all. I can go, I, well, not as much as I could when I was younger, like in between like 16 and 20. But I could walk into a fucking bar and spark up a conversation with a random person. Now I go into a bar, have two beers, and then I walk out and don't even look at me. Well, like, I'll go, if I go out somewhere, like if I go to a sit down restaurant by myself or something, yeah. I will go in, get food, and this also happened once. Mm -hmm. Go in, get food, eat, and I leave. I don't yeah. spend any extra time. I don't. 20 minutes, in and out, I'm done. Yeah. Because I just, I'm here to get food, I wanted to sit down, you know, sometimes, you know, I want to go somewhere and just sit down. Well, sometimes you gotta get out of the house. It's, it's Exactly. I'm not trying to like get away or I don't want to be around mm -hmm. people, I just, hey, I'm just going out to get food. Yeah. And people will see me and I'm just like, I don't, I don't want to flip the switch back on, I don't mm -hmm. want, you know, I'm smiling for real at work, I'm not wanting to give people fake smiles here. And see, that's the thing that's fucking hilarious and shit. People are a lot different in the work environment compared to being in their home environment. And see, and I don't know if this is just me or if you boys had this same issue. Growing up, middle school, you know, junior high, high school, college and stuff, seeing professors and teachers outside of school time was weird as fuck to me. It oh, was I, I weird it. as fuck. Yeah. I would hide in aisles. I'd hide, like, if it was Walmart, I'd oh, go on hide in an aisle. I know. Alright. Is Frank causing an uproar? Yeah. People are spilling beer on my floor? No, I'm not. Y'all be spilling beer on my floor. Y'all be tripping. There's an alcoholic beverage that's on my floor. I don't think he's interested in the beer, man. I think he's just gonna follow you because he knows that you ate. Grab a... Uh, no, no, no. Do, hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. There we go. There yeah, we go. Be all right. He'll be fine. Frank, you stay there. Stay there. There we go. Oh boy. This one's gonna be really close. Oh. I gotta wash this anyway, plus I've worn this the last, oh. two, last five days. Okay, I'm, uh, there's a lot of things in front of me right now, Shiny. Sorry, smell. sorry. Okay, there we go. It's settled down. Alright. Nope, I, I fucked up. That's fine. That was probably my fault, too. My arm was. No, no, no. Right. It's not. You're good. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah, I fucked up on that one. Yeah. Brent, I got it. Yeah, I got it, Run. I, I've been, I've worn this shirt for the last five fucking days, man. Yeah, I Anyway. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Holy you know, shit, how did I do that? I, I, I broke it. I don't, wow. That, I, wow. Yeah, no, uh, just... I'm worried. No, you're doing you're like, good. Yeah, just, just beat him. I'm doing good. Okay. I need some fucking more. I think your pits smell lovely. No, that's... I will take care of that after this. Sean, you're a lovely human being. Toss that by my bag. I'm doing laundry tomorrow. How long do you want to keep your stuff up? Cat litter? Box, yeah, it doesn't matter. There's nothing in there, really. That's a big deal. The cat litter box? Or yeah. In my bag. There's nothing in there. Besides my toothbrush, but that's Damn fine. It. It's all good with everything. Um, anyway, uh, when you had to take your porn anyway, uh, continuing the story. So, you know, I'm out, I'm out in public and all that. And yeah. I'm just like, oh, yeah. yeah. And multiple times throughout the week. And I go to the gas station again the next day to get gas. So the guy's like, yeah, I met you. Good job. Kept your house. Yeah, thank yep. you. 
So the next day, I'm getting ready for work, and I'm like, oh, yeah. I gotta go gas the car up before I get to work. So right. I'm like, okay, I'll just go get gas quick. Go in. The guy at the cash register. Hey, you're that guy. Oh, God oh, damn it. I've had that happen to me, too. Well, like, the day hasn't even started yet, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I already have to do Finish this Finish yours, and I'll go into mine after that. But, like, I see, like, literally thousands of people, like, um, mm -hmm. let's see. Now, in, within a year, I'm seeing, like, thousands of people. Yeah. And I'm just like, for fuck's sakes. Like, I'm happy everyone's doing good. I'm happy people are happy in the world, but yeah. just leave me alone. Mm -hmm. I may talking I'm a celebrity. I'm not. Oh, no. I've been in the same situation. I legit, when I was living up here, it was af it was uh, right before I got divorced. Uh, between marriage and the divorce. I was broadcasting, like, you know. And um, I walked into Walmart in Bemidji here. And I legit walked up to the self-checkout and the dude came up because my card wasn't working or something was wrong and shit. And he straight up said, do I know you from somewhere? I'm like, no, I hope probably not. not. And he goes, are you on like radio or TV? And I'm like, shit. He got me. Yeah, I am. He's like, yeah, that's me. You're on the country station in town, right? And I'm like, which yeah, one? Yeah, that's like, me. He's like, the one down by the bars. And I'm like, yeah, yeah that's me. That's me. And he goes, Wild Man Sean or something. And I'm like, yeah, that's yeah, me. That's me. I shit you not. He's like, oh, dude, I could tell just by your voice the way you were talking to me. And I'm like, oh, you know what? Cool, man. So Can I please eggs, get my eggs now? All this. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I shit you fucking not. I left Walmart. I fucking went home within 45 minutes of getting back to my apartment. He added me on Facebook You're and Twitter. Kidding. I You're shit you kidding. not. His name was Isaac. Okay, we're not going to say last thing name, I right? Okay. That's the only thing I remember was his name was Isaac. And he was from, uh, I'm not going to say where he was from, but he wasn't from Bemidji, but he was within an hour. I'll say that. He, he was, was stalking you. No, South it's just or west. Uh, west. Okay. West. Which I think you know where I'm going to go with that. Well, if you think it's... Don't say the name, but it's... If you're thinking of one of the reservations... No, that's not it. three of them in no. three different directions. No. He's got four. There's a lot. No. No. Within an hour, going west of Bemidji. That's all I'll say. But, uh, yeah, it was fucking... It was hilarious, but it was annoying because I just got off of a fucking broadcast that night, and it was like a 16-hour oh, it's, it's when... birthday. From someone so, who's worked in the field also, yeah. Sean, it's the worst the when people want to talk to you after. <laughs> when they want to talk to you after you are no, done, it is I, just the worst. I legit think that it was freaking... I went to Coyote that... It was like a Friday or something, a Thursday or a Friday. I went to Coyote to work, and I went to work at 6, and I think I finally freaking got done, and I left Walmart at 11 p.m. and had to go back to work the next morning at freaking 6. So, yeah, I was like... Oh. God. Just leave me alone. Well, it wasn't even. It wasn't bad. Like the kid was nice, and he was. Well, a kid. yeah, he but was, it's like you get done with a nice. busy day. It's he like, was, I don't really want to talk right. to people right but now. But he was a kid. He was high school. He was probably well, sixteen still, or seventeen. Like, okay, so you know how people get angry at celebrities when it's just like, oh, he went a boy he, last round. Keep doing what you're doing. He wouldn't. He wouldn't sign my my autograph yeah. and all of this after I'm the three hundred and ninety ninth person in line. Yeah, no. I'm like, bud. Yeah. If they've been doing it all day, I'm sorry you had a bad experience no. with a celebrity. Wow. And I've only seen one bad autograph experience, and it was Brock Lesnar in Fargo. And it was a little girl who wanted oh a fucking... Oh, my God. What the, what the fuck? It, fuck? Yeah, exactly. It's a little girl who wanted an autograph while he was eating in Fargo. I saw the... And yeah, they videotaped it. And he straight up said, No, kid, get the fuck out of here. I'm eating right now. That's what he said. And ever since then, I have hated Lesnar. Oh, I've hated him beforehand. And to this I've, day, I still don't like him. I've talked to you about um like my my uh my family does know his family. Yeah. Like not well, like no, it's not you... like oh yeah, my dad is my dad and Brocky Brock are the best of buddies. No, it he knows they know the family. Yeah, no. He they talk to his brother a, a little bit now and then. Yeah. You know, and yeah, even his brother's like, Yeah, Brock's an ass. Yeah. Like he's like and my dad and he's like, No, like Brock's brother, he's also an ass. But he said, mm. Oh no, you think I'm bad. You oh no. This he's like Brock? Oh, he's much worse than me. And he's yeah. my brother. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, my brother sucks. You, you got this, buddy. I'm working on it. I know you are. I know you are. So, no, it's just, it's those experiences that are fucking hilarious, but at the same time, yes, you're right. It is fucking annoying. 
The other thing is, you worked harder than me in the TV and radio production shit. You legit would fucking go to work early in the fucking morning at 5, 5.30 in the morning, and you would go to bed at night at 2. Oh, yeah. I remember nights you had to come pick me up at the bar on a weeknight at fucking 2 o'clock in the morning. You would stay at my apartment, Damn and it. then you would freaking legit... at a boy. Woo! Good job. And then you would legit leave at fucking 4.30 in the morning after dropping me off at like 2.30 in the morning. Oh, yeah. Going I went off at two hours of sleep. When I, was, uh, when I was in the field, and I was also... Um, I was in college, I was in the field, yeah. even after I got out of college. Oh yeah, I spent most of my nights like working multiple jobs, I was up most of the nights, I didn't really sleep at all. Yeah. Oh no, is he okay? He's choking! His respirator, no! Cabal! Okay, I'm, I'm actually, I'd like to see where the story goes. Oh, he goes and says hi to Kano, that's right. So, but yeah, like when you work in the field, it, it's, it sucks. When it comes hour wise, it sucks. It's yeah. horrible. Well, and the pay is bad too. That's the only. Holy shit! That's that, uh, what? That's that's Cabal now? No. That's the guy who. Doctor who made his. Yeah, okay. that's the doctor who made I was gonna say, there's no way that's Cabal. I was gonna say, just said that at the back. Okay. Now that looks awesome. That is pretty sweet. That's cool. I like that. But yeah, um, it, when people ask like if I'd ever go back to like radio or the no that I I would. Oh, there it is, the first 30, one over thirties. That's Goro, fine. Goro and Shao gave me quite a fight, man. Well, girl, girl, Goro <laughs> fucked you tw uh, three times, and Shao fucked you three times. Oh, they all took turn. They they tagged in and out on that one. Well, I'm just saying. Yeah, they had a, they had a fun so, time with my holes. Do you so want to call was, it now? We oh, yeah, we're calling. I'm just putting yet. it on Cabal. Okay. Right. So I want to thank everyone for watching. Thank everyone for making this possible, and thank the mm -hmm. patrons for making this possible. When we come back, we're going to continue down the tower. We're, what are we now? Like, we start off with like 32 characters. We're, we're down. We got to be getting close to half. We're soon. at, uh, let me check here. We're going to do the math. Yep. Give me, a, give me the stats. One, play by play. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We're all, oh my goodness. We're doing good. We're, we're doing Dang. very, very We good. passed the halfway point. Yep. <laughs> So we come back, we're just going to keep going. All Catch right. you on the next one. Yeah. Later.